Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 48 in the Did You Know series as we take a look at 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K19. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could get a shout out in the next episode. Did you know that Naomi has unique championship side plates that can't be selected by anyone else? This one comes from Nerdy Hound, who reveals the addition of some unique championship side plates for Naomi as despite not being listed in the list of available side plates in Create a Championship or being listed when setting side plates in Create a Superstar, should you try to assign side plates to Naomi in Create a Championship or Create a Superstar, then you'll notice that she already has these unique side plates assigned which are hidden from selection when using other superstars. As for why the side plates are hidden remains a mystery, however it could be that 2K were planning to add her light up women's championship and that the side plates were supposed to be unique to that. Did you know that Goldberg's Minitron shows gameplay from WWE 2K17? This one was suggested by underscore just underscore zxck underscore who reveals the presence of WWE 2K17 gameplay in Goldberg's Minitron as due to WWE 2K17 coming out prior to Goldberg's WWE return, Goldberg didn't have a Minitron in place, therefore 2K created their own custom Tron featuring gameplay. Despite Goldberg returning to WWE after the release of 2K17 and having his own official Minitron, 2K didn't update the custom version that was used in the game, therefore you can still see the 2K17 gameplay when previewing the Minitron in Create an Entrance, in which Goldberg can be seen delivering a jackhammer to Scott Hall. Did you know there is special commentary in Universe Mode for Independence Day? Previously in the series, we've featured various commentary for the likes of Halloween, Christmas and New Year. However, Wacko G reveals that there is also special holiday commentary included for Independence Day, as should you play a match during the first week of July, then you'll be able to hear one of the following four lines of dialect, as well as a unique show ending. And very quickly, I can tell you that these superstars are very excited to have the opportunity to compete here tonight on Independence Day. And similarly, we're excited to be able to call the action for you, especially for this match. This is going to be great! And guys, allow me to say thank you to everybody watching at home for spending part of your Independence Day with us. Congratulations, Cole. I thought for sure you were going to say some corny cliche about there being fireworks in this upcoming match. You showed a lot of reserve there. Very good job. That's Byron's job. <laughs> Shifting gears now, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish everybody a very happy 4th of July. And if you're into fireworks, don't touch that remote because this one is sure to be explosive. Ugh, who writes your stuff? And guys, if you're looking for fireworks on this 4th of July, you came to the right place because this match will be nothing short of explosive. Come on, Cole. You're better than that. Did you really have to go with the fireworks line? Oh, come on. Who am I kidding? Of course you did. Happy 4th of July, everybody. I sure hope you enjoyed those fireworks. Did you know that the Big Show's old WWE 2K18 model can be seen in the My Player tutorial video? Previously in the series, we noted how Daniel Bryan's WWE 2K18 model could be seen in the fighting style tutorial video when creating a My Player. However, it appears that Bryan's old model wasn't the only one used in the tutorial, as Creepy Guy reveals that you can also see the Big Show's old model from 2K18, which is featured in the tutorial video for the giant fighting style. Did you know it's possible to perform an F5 onto the barricade? This one comes from Never Dog the Boys, who reveals the presence of some alternate environmental moves at ringside, which include the likes of the F5 onto the barricade. By default, when using the carry system to hold your opponent in the fireman's carry position, then pressing square on PlayStation or X on Xbox will result in this move taking place, in which you drive your opponent into the barricade. However, should you hold R1 or RB and also press the strike button, then this will instead see this alternate move take place as your superstar performs an F5 onto the barricade. This alternate carry move isn't the only one, as should you carry your opponent in the over the shoulder position, then the regular move for this position sees you throw your opponent into the barricade face first, however should you hold R1 or RB, then this will instead see this alternate move take place as you drive your opponent into the barricade. Lastly, there is also an alternate move available when performing environmental moves against the apron, as rather than perform this move which sees you drop your opponent head first on the apron, holding R1 or RB will instead see this alternate throw take place, in which your opponent will land fully on the apron before then falling down to the floor. 
So there you go, that was 5 more things you might not know in WA2K19, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, I would love it if you could drop a like to show your support, as well as leaving a comment below to let me know what you made of today's features and if there's any other secrets, hints or easter eggs that you think I should cover. As always, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Did You Know episodes and smack that bell notification icon so that you can be notified the second a new video drops. Until next time though, all that's left for me to say is I hope you've enjoyed this video, have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.